Oh, good. Oh, you're not going to take the phone call? <laughs> no, it's Beth. <laughs> <laughs> do, you want me to do you want me to delete that part? Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It is April at the top of this webpage 24. I'm Ryan Miller, and he's not going to take the call. Like, I didn't mean Bad to ever. say it that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you. You still kidding. You, you, you never said my name. I just want you to know that. I did. No, you were talking over it. I'm not going to say it again either. You did not say my name. Time will tell. The recording will be released. Uh, yeah, see, and then you're going to you're gonna edit it, and you're going <laughs> to mute me, and you're going to be like, look, here it is. It doesn't matter. No, no, I will not. I, that's not true. I, I was going to say I will not say your name for the rest of the show so you know that I didn't take it from there and put it back in there. But the truth is I could say it at any time. I could do it just after. With nobody watching. Yeah, but that would just be disingenuous and dishonest. A, a zero hit points thing that nobody watches never happens. Yeah, we're it's a thing. We're a podcast that talks about video games. Currently, this one, Thursdays are movies, but we'll talk about that on Thursday. I already said not to bring that up. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, as long as you don't mention Brooklyn Nine-Nine, we'll be fine. We should have. We're probably long overdue for a Brooklyn Nine-Nine discussion on, on that show. Yeah. Let's. <laughs> this one's about video games, games we've played, games we want to talk about, any old thing, new things. In fact, there's going to be too many new things on this. It'll, it's bizarre how many new things are going to be on this week's show. We played video games this week, together and apart. Yeah, this, that's so true. It's like... It's a philosophy of sorts. There was a, <laughs> there was a moment in time... And it happened this week where where stars aligned and, and they said, hey, you guys can play a couple games. We did, man. We did. We, I, we. I, uh, I mainlined it. I finally did it. I completed a Far Cry game that's not called Blood Dragon. <laughs> it's longer than three hours. That's talks. longer than three hours. It doesn't like I couldn't I literally can't max, you know, like like I couldn't max everything out in that time. Uh, Far Cry 5. Um you know, I, I've talked about this for the past three weeks or so. Yeah. I uh, the overall feeling about the gameplay itself is good. I, I've already said that. There's not a whole lot mm -hmm. to add to it. It's fine. I still just can't get over using the bow and arrow. It's really okay. I, I did start enjoying using the slingshot though. That was kind of fun. You can get a slingshot. Okay. This all checks out. Yeah, it's fine. I uh, but but the game I, I rolled credits on it, finally. Thrilled about it. Uh, that story is, is one where, where I, I, I've said repeatedly that they, they kind of go to the edge of, of trying mm. to be politically anything <laughs> daring maybe. Right. And, and they, they don't ever really do it. They, they, they right. use a bunch of very, very silly archetypes and stereotypes to fill out what, what's supposed to be, you know, edgy political commentary and and it, it never really comes through, even in the moments where you're you're talking to the main bad guy or or his his brethren, whatever, and and they're they're trying to explain their side of the thing. It, it it still comes back down to you know like like it's it's they're they're trying to make it a both sides have a point and 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 John see that the main bad guy definitely you know he sees the end coming and he's trying to avoid the end of the world and oh, and all this. Geez. And, and it, it's like, and it's never, you're never ever given the credence of, of that argument because you're immediately shown they're drugging people into getting them to believe this, you know, they're forcing them into this. And the ones that aren't are the ones that are already like, you, you know, I want to be doing this. I want to be causing chaos and pain, blah, blah, blah. So they got themselves a bad guy that everybody can feel good about killing. You think ish yeah. like it, it's I mean, yeah, but, but he's he's kind of the it's one of those like he's the bad guy that's leading everybody. He's like Charles Manson in a lot of respects. You okay. don't see him doing the work. You see him manipulating people to do the work for him. 
and uh and 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 but throughout the thing like and this comes up it it, it comes up in every zone you go into so every zone has their the leader that's related to john c the the, the main bad guy the main or the mm. main cult leader mm. and in every situation you are you are taken away i mentioned this before too uh at, at random points at intervals as you have you've um liberated the area you you're then taken to their base and then you have to do something for or you know have a weird discussion with the boss sure they do this multiple times and multiple times john seed comes and says i'm not here to hurt you i don't want to hurt you i don't want to kill you you are like the only one he they get and they're like you're the problem you are you are allowing everybody they acknowledge the fact that you're the one that's allowing everybody to to rise up and and fight against them but we're still not going to kill you we're just going to keep letting you go and saying you'll figure it out okay. oh you're going to come around so that so, continues up into the very all end. the way to the very end yeah, to the point right. where at the very end when you are at the point where they say it's time to go get john seed you go you get into the fight you 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 the fight is is a drug laden thing where like he is kind of infected all of your friends that you've picked up throughout the sh throughout the the game and you oh. have you have to fight them but but as soon as you like hit them you 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 shoot them they lose the th they they like get knocked down you can revive them and they're your friends again and then they'll help you fight oh, so okay. you do that to get all your friends back while he is kind of disappearing and reappearing and it's not him and it's not him and then it finally is you start taking his health down you finally get him to the point where okay we're going to we're going to load him up in the helicopter we're going to arrest him and everything and then this is where the game kind of goes off into its own weird little thing this is where this entire time okay this entire time you're you're being told that that john seed's whole goal is is, is to he wants to to he's cleansing the countryside because the end is coming the world is coming to an end as you are being taken away a nuclear well what appears to be a nuclear explosion happens in the background you see a mm. massive mushroom cloud and then there is the gust of wind that kind of knocks all of you for for a loop so you start driving and you get away and then the car gets blown apart and all that and you're picked up by john seed after everybody else is dead you're picked up you're taken to the place where the game began in this bunker uh, that that's like that you're the first person you meet that you, where you actually get to play the game. You're taken to this guy's bunker who John has now murdered, and John sits there and, and says, "I told you, I told you I was right." And and it basically ends with ostensibly the world going away, <laughs> like the end of the world occurs. Now the there's a whole uh... there's a whole mess of like issues that I have with this, the least of which being. They 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 committed so hard to so many things like we're gonna we're gonna make sure that the bliss the drug that they use to make all of the zombie people that they, they commit so hard to making sure that you know that that's in the world okay like you run through the fields of it and and like and your your vision gets blurry and things get weird when you see the um, faith seed the the visions get blurry she appears here and there they they can uh john is one that can pop back and forth so you you're not really given a it, it's very easily one of those moments where they cut it off and maybe it's like the rest of the game and you wake up the sheriff wakes you up and says you're back everything's fine we got him it was all a dream right yeah it, so it's one of those open ended endings that that also like almost in some way is is kind of a it's kind of it can be it could feel like a real kick to the genitals if you if you spend all this time fighting against these cultists only to at the very end you it doesn't matter you lost you you, you know no matter how weird. much you win you lose right well you know what's weird is for a game that the entire time never goes all the way to end with going all the way going all the way but not right like not actually like going the most not all the way as possible i have a million issues with this and i don't know what any of them are no i i i know i'm in the same boat right like it <laughs> it didn't feel right to me that ending i i kind of sat there and when the credits rolled i went huh <laughs> What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So that, I'm not. It makes you think, though. I it I guess it makes me think <laughs> that that Ubisoft had 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 the the trappings of what could have been a game of the year. Like that could have been a game of the year, and at no point do they do they make the extra push to get there. That's like and and when I say game of the year, I'm talking like. I, I do mean kind of almost in the way that Doom was for, for you and I. Like, the quality of that game, bringing back all the things that kind of made Far Cry really interesting outside of, the like, the mutations in, like, the first game or whatever. Um, but the gun, the gunplay was great. I thought the dialogue, for the most part, was... It was fine. It was fun. It was, you know, again, it, it falls into that stereotyping um, to, to try and get a point across. But again, I go back to if they had pushed forward and not gone with some of those, those trappings. Maybe this game becomes a game of the year, but instead they kind of like, they stumble through trying to make a point. And I, I'm not even sure if the point was we should listen, we should open our ears. I don't know if they were saying that, you know, like, because in this game, to me, there is no question. There is a definitive bad guy. There's not, you can't read them as a good group. You know, they're not right. And, 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 like so it's one of those things where where you know you know you have to take it in in comparison to what's going on around you and and obviously the comparison here is is the very very clear there are good people on both sides nonsense which is exactly that and and that's that's what they're aiming for except they never they never get to it you know and not and, even to that like, well they can't, they can't even. <laughs> because again you go back to immediately you're immediately shown that that this Jim Jones Charles Manson esque, obviously supposed to be super like the 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 alt right style of of moron, um, and yeah, even I even if you don't want to go like alt right, like I feel like there's a and no, and that's that's like there's an even easier or maybe less offensive to the alt right thing where you just talk about how these these people come up where we live. You know, like these. Well, the, and the, that's the United States creates this people. That and that's in a way, that is know? a theme. That is definitely part of the theme, and 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 it is. It's it's alt right in the sense that it is the alt right without the the the. They don't have the blatant racism yeah, and Nazism yeah. in the game, but but that's it's where, it's like, the current events come in. But there's but, a but way this to is, like this is very much so touching on pieces of that with the religious aspect and the and the fact that that you know fundamentalists take things too far and that happens in every respect in this game right. they're obviously aiming for a direction but then again that that comes back to like the the good guys there there are a bunch of good a bunch of the the good guys that are are supposed to kind of represent the the actual conservatives and and they're just again it's all stereotyped and it's stereotyped in such a way that that there's no way you can you can root for the bad guys. I mean, unless you are seriously like, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I, you know, it's, it's, it's almost, right. it's almost the video game version of Kevin Smith's movie, red state. And, and that, that is ostensibly hmm. what this is, except in the movie, hmm. red state, it's, it's a simple, like it's a tiny ha It's like a small group of people in a house. I feel like red state says something too, but, but that's, I'm saying it's the attempt. It's, it's, that's what gotcha. they're trying okay, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. You know, the perfect world. Red State's one of those those interesting movies to me that that in this game kind of follows that where where Kevin Smith did something you know that that made sense to him and and it was personal to him in a lot of ways. Uh, and, and this is a game where I think I think that gets lost because you have so many people trying to create it. Sure, I, um, I have thought that multiple times during you know me talking of this thing. <laughs> and yeah, no, well, I mean and. We, we brushed past this before, I think, as well. But to look to the Far Cry franchise for something like that is maybe not smart. <laughs> In a way, it's it's why are we expecting Far Cry to say something, you know, when it hasn't before? Well, yeah, and, and, you know, I, I mean, it, that was one where, where I thought that I... I guess I, I was hoping that they would i was hoping that this was going to be a change no, yeah, that we, me we've too. seen I'm i can understand why somebody would say that but yeah you, you know i like yeah it, it's definitely a a par for the course and and this is again i i, I you, you know the the aspects that they get right they get really right it, it's just that that story that ties it all together um it, the that overarching story is just you know it, it it's trying to straddle a line that it didn't need to straddle 
make a decision and, and be bold with your choice, you know, and, and, and deal with the, deal with it. You know, you deal with the fallout. And, and I mean, they, it, it's something that, that in this case, and this is like, like, I, I'm not talking about necessarily the, the, the reasoning behind it, but, but, but one of those things where I feel like maybe Ubisoft could take a lesson is from, I don't know, was it Infinity Ward that did no Russian? Sure. Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a thing that, that they knew that was going to be a thing. They, they, you know, they made a decision consciously. They knew that that was, that could be controversial and they went with it and it was, it became a thing. It weathered the storm. It became a, don't worry about that. Just knocking things no, over. I didn't hear anything. It, it weathered the storm. It became one of those moments that a lot of people, uh, it, that, that was, it was divisive, you know, it, 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 it did go all the way. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and that's something where I feel like, like in this case, UB could probably take a lesson from that, make a decision, go all the way with it and don't pussyfoot around with it. You know, if you want to make a game that has political overtones that are current and relative or, uh, you, you know, and maybe that's it. Maybe the fact that they get so close says that they could have really, you know, this isn't necessarily, I mean, yeah, it's hard to pin down, you know, a guy with a singular vision that kind of failed here. Maybe it did have to do with a lot of different people doing a lot of different things and that's hard to do, but it feels like they get so close that if they had really wanted to, they could have. Yeah. And, and what it feels like is that when you, he, when you kind of like, when you take the story as a, as a, um, a holistic as the, the holistic aspect of that story, it does feel like somebody did probably write that whole thing. They really did go the extra mile with it. And then it's like they found all the peaks that they could find in the peaks and valleys of where, okay, here's where we're going to, and they drew a line. So we don't want to go any further than this. And they just lopped it off. You know, they hmm, cut out yeah. story, they cut out dialogue, whatever. And so you get kind of a, you know, in some ways, it's a story that feels like it's been neutered. You know, it's it's we'll been never know about that and we stuff. we no never, yeah. but but Far Cry Five overall was a really enjoyable game. Highly recommend it if you like that series and you haven't played one in a while. Uh, good stuff. The story, like I said, it's a little divisive. It's you know, it's a know good what you're getting into. It's a good story to go for, through. Yeah. It's probably not going to be the one that makes you go, man. Get these guys uh, some Academy Awards or BAFTAs or whatever. <laughs> yes. Bring video games into the Oscars. Yes. <laughs> or Far Cry 5. Do you go back to Far Cry 5? Um, I might go back to clean up some of the achievements. There are there are a handful that y the game was fun enough for me to be able to go back and do some of those, you know, because they're, they're all gotcha. they're all silly things, you know, like like skinning some animals or, or yeah. blowing stuff up. And, and sure, blowing stuff. I did really enjoy doing the outposts in this game. It was a lot of fun. Um, and, and, uh, and again, playing with the, being able to have like a menagerie attacking people, having a giant yeah. bear, you know, it's <laughs> the way to go. Right. Did you finally get the bear? Got okay. the bear. Last we left. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So can you have bear che che cheeseburger, and... cheeseburger and the cougar? Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, dog all at the same time. You, uh, I don't have the third slot open, so I don't think so. I mean, I don't know yet because I, yeah. I don't have that. I didn't open that. Well, all right. Far cry five. Goodbye. Yeah. Far we should cry. probably keep moving. Let's yeah, We're going to go. I uh, picked up <laughs> God of War and uh, yo, yo, that, that right there. Okay. So I, I fully admit God of Wars one, two, and three, eh, didn't really do much for me. They, they were kind of a style of game that I wasn't really super into. The stories kind of moved at a glacial pace for me and I, and I, I just didn't enjoy them at all. You played them all though? I played, I should, I played one and two and I, I didn't finish either of them because I just didn't enjoy them. So I never bothered with three. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, never played any of them. I'm, I'm glad yeah. I picked this one up. I'm with you. It is, <laughs> it, it, number one, it is absolutely one of the most beautiful games just out there. And I'm not even playing with on a 4k TV or PS pro and PS4 pro. And, and it just like, it's mind bottlingly beautiful. Absolutely. How gorgeous. many hours in? Uh, two or three, maybe, okay. maybe four. Um, right. it, it's different than other God of War games in that uh, most of the other games were pretty um, linear. You, you're, you, you know, there's a little bit of, of, of movement here and there to find oh, okay. secrets and stuff, but you were pretty much on a path. Um, this is not, this is more open world. So you, you are, you have quests and you have things that you can do. And, and, uh, and, and the unlock system is, is pretty simple. It's not, 
super overbearing like the like the the amount of moves and stuff that you're getting for each thing there's there's a lot there but it's not it doesn't feel like it's it's gonna bog you down okay uh and and it, it does have a little more of a uh a, a bloodborne dark soulsy feel in that, that it well. does yeah. feel like it's a little more dodgy attack dodgy attack type stuff which has been cool and and, and um parrying it's is big in this action on the bumpers yeah yeah and it's good yeah. it's it's fun man that the, the combat even when i die i'm like oh man okay and i hardly ever have been in a situation where i die more than once where i i can't die and then i immediately know why i died so i can i can go back and fix it you know cool. or try a different yeah. tactic um and and, and uh and the other thing I'll mention is that this is one of the first games I think I've played, or I shouldn't say first, I should say few. Uh, one of the few games I've played where you are kind of ostensibly on a um, an escort mission, but your escort it like hardly gets hurt, can get hurt, can get grabbed, can can be affected, but doesn't happen a lot, and is useful in combat. So you can define when he shoots arrows. Uh, your son Atreus, he, he, you can tell him to shoot arrows. You can upgrade his abilities and stuff. I The first thing that he has right now that I found was if I'm low on health, there's a chance that he'll find a health potion and throw it to me, which is nice. like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's fun. Um, so he'll he'll fight the bad guys with you and you can use him to distract guys so that you can one-on-one -on -one somebody or get behind them and do a stronger move, whatever. Dude, you haven't heard? Kids are useful. Man, I don't agree, but this one certainly appears to be. Uh, you know, so, so combat super fun. Um, I, I I'm, I'm liking the, uh, <laughs> the, I'm liking the, the very, the variance in the weapons and stuff. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the runes and, and all of the different things kind of come together. Cause it does have kind of a little mini RPG ishness to it where, like your clothing and, and like you have, you have X, you have three, I think slots in clothing plus a, a like a, a ruin spot. Plus you've got your, your ax, which has handle or pommels and, and all these things have like different things you can slot things into. So there's RPG aspect to it. Really, really dig that. Um, so yeah, all, all that's cool. When you start getting into the story, the game shines, man. It is number one, the fact that they chose a really, really unique, um, uh, viewing experience for the game. It's all in a single camera. The camera never right. ever cuts. And I wouldn't necessarily have even picked up on that in a video game because I just wouldn't have thought about it. And somebody mentioned it and I've been paying attention to it. And the way they do that is incredible. Some of the camera movement and the swooping and the, and then bringing it back to, 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 to the subject. It's fantastic. Like it's, it's one of those things where you feel like, how has this not been done? Like, it seems like the perfect idea. Like surely somebody's done it before. And, and I just never mentioned it. And either. I have to wonder, like, this is one of those things where, where I, I, Corey, I want to say his last name is Bal Balrog. I always want to say Balrog oh, yes. because it's because God That's of great. God of War, but it's, but, but I think you're right. It's, it's, <laughs> Barlog. It's Just call him Balrog. No, it's fine. Uh, we'll talk about Capcom later. He, he, the director of the game, he, that guy sh deserves so much credit on this because it, 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 the camera movements are, are excellent. Um, and even when you're, 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 you're going into combat and stuff, like it's the, the transitions from what you are able to control to what the game takes control of is also really, really instructive of the story they're telling. There are things that are brought up. Like, like you can, you'll, you'll, you'll do the commando thing at the beginning of the game. The commando thing is so funny and it's so obviously like the get Schwarzenegger on, on the thing. Chopper. That's predator. Oh, <sighs> get, get on, get stick around. That's closer. You're, I mean, you're right, but, but it, it, just, you know, <laughs> At the beginning of the movie, Thursday, tuna he's carrying around a. Uh, he, he, you see Schwarzenegger chopping down the tree, and he's carrying the tree down. The opening of the game, so your opening sequence, like like it, op you 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 get the game started up, and it's it's Kratos behind a tree, and the tree has a handprint on it. And as soon as you press A, it says press R one or R two to swing your axe. So you press those, and you start chopping the tree. As soon as the game starts in that in that respect, the camera never moves. It never changes. It's like it's always following. That's cool. No, that's cool. So so you have all of these these moments, but like he chops the tree down and then he lifts it up, and then you're given, okay, 
here's how you move. So you have now the option, you're like the opportunity to take control of Kratos, move him with the, you know, as Schwarzenegger, what have you. But you get to a point where where you no longer get to be Schwartz and Kratos. You you have to be you know, you just have to watch it. Because it's something that that they don't want you like carrying a your wife's corpse. Oh, oh boo hoo. I'm gonna run around the level and see what's there. But but there are like it's instructive to the game and it's instructive to the story in, in and it does it repeatedly where where there's these very smooth transitions from you were doing something gameplay into a cutscene back out of the cutscene into gameplay all in one camera motion. It's cool. really great, and uh, and the story is so far it's it's terrific. You know, like the the the. It's a father. None of it seems trite. None of it seems no. I mean, rot. It it is. So far, it is a story that you know, but but it's being told in the right way. You know, it, it cool. is it is. Mom died. Her last wish is to have her ashes carried to the top of the the mountain. And so you're that's that's the story is, it, and and the the other the other aspect being you're actually on on Earth. You're on Midgard, uh, as a god. You're on Midgard. Midgard being the Norse version of Earth where Loki and Thor and, sure. and Heimdall, all of them are, and Odin are, are worshipped. And in this point, they are brought up repeatedly. H- Odin, Thor, Heimdall. And, and I just actually, one of the missions I just completed, a side mission for somebody was destroying a statue of Thor. Um, so, mm. so you, how, how were you able to reconcile that? I felt I, he didn't look anything <laughs> like Chris Hemsworth. So oh, I was okay. fine. He wasn't as dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh you're a god from a different like you're a greek god essentially in a norse realm you're a god of war yeah and you, you're yeah. yeah it's it's yeah, well, yeah, formerly <laughs> you know you, you lost your job so you're an ex-god of I thought, war i thought that was the job he gained wasn't he like a demigod at best yeah, like yeah and like, then after uh, killing everybody uh, yeah. demi more at best i <laughs> <laughs> uh, that so, explains the strip tea. There it is. Da, 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 da. Do so. <laughs> so the the story is 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 very simple in that it, it's you know father son. We're gonna we don't know each other very well, and on top of that, Atreus his son doesn't know that his father is a god. He just knows his father is special. He knows his father is is has abilities, and they know that like magic exists. So it's not like. It's not like his dad is is he to him unique at this point. It's just dad is kind of a gruff father, and and Kratos, you you do definitely run into to those moments of Kratos, not the greatest dad in the world, maybe less on the tough love, but you know whatever, <laughs> and and it is clearly a story of of Kratos. I was gonna say having to like. Lo- it, it, it's it's definitely part, part him having to learn to live with more so and further. I, I think this is kind of furthering the story overall. Um, I'm gonna say he softens up by the end. That's my. I I don't think he softens guess. up much, but I, I'm willing to Not bet much, that the, the 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 end goal here is, is to get him to a point where he can reconcile the fact that he doesn't have to be emotionless all the time, but he also still has to be able to tap into that to to protect whatever he needs to protect right. which is why the whole taking the ashes i mean yeah she, she basically asked him to take out the trash one more time as she, as she was <laughs> and that's god of war so far everybody <laughs> looking forward to that uh last couple games i played we played together um i did. don't know how much we'll have to say uh, about PUBG. we played some squads yeah uh we it was fun anything. good time with yeah. slip tide good time with uh, um kumar we uh, did not succeed, but no, we had, we had succeeded in fun. We did. Yeah. We succeeded in brotherly love Yeah, uh, for most alrighty. of us. Alrighty. Uh, mm-hmm. But then you and I, we, we streamed <laughs> this uh, Saturday night. We played uh, some Sea of Thieves. Hey, I forgot we streamed that. We, we did stream some of that. We did. We put on we put on our pirate hats. We, we streamed for about two hours, I think. Really? Wow. I think so. Time just kind of flies by. Huh? When you're a pirate, it fly pirate fly i don't know that's a beautiful game oh man it's 
beyond beautiful. That is a an amazing looking game. It's great. Even I feel like it looks better than the the the, the only thing I played of this before, which is funny because we booted it up and started going through all this story stuff, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember this from last time. Oh, that's right, I've only ever played the beta. This is the first right. time I've actually <laughs> played the real game. And uh, but yeah, no, it looks even better than I remember. Like uh, it's just yeah. so freaking good looking. In in comparison to the beta, I, I would say that 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 if you played the beta, it was very very instructive of everything that this game is so far. I think it was pretty oh, yeah. close. Um, we we I didn't notice a difference, honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, outside of I think there were a couple new enemies and stuff, and then the the re- the other merchants were available. True. Um, so so we we All did the merchants weren't available before. No. The the huh. souls merchant I don't remember what they're called. The oh, that's right. You could see them, but you couldn't take missions from them. Right. You could only take gotcha. the gold right. hoarders missions. So gotcha. we did a we did our, our first couple of missions for the gold hoarders and some for the 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 layer of souls or whatever they're called, where you have to go and fight guys and get their skull, skeletons or skulls back. Um, we we got our levels up I think in both of them to level five, where where we can actually I think we close. Can, purchase yeah. i know in the gold hoarders we did where we can now actually get good missions that'll give us actual money um i really like the game man i i know it's it's not super content rich but i i uh and i mentioned this somebody asked this question on the stream and, and i i apologize for not answering right away at my my Twitch chat yeah, was forgot to my Twitch chat was up. I was looking at it, but I was we're lo- bad at it. I was looking at the, the thing that 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 tells me who's in the room, and I never clicked off of it, and it doesn't up to, it doesn't update when somebody comes in if you're already looking at it. Um, gotcha. But but it's a game that that right now is is not content rich. I I think that the content is coming. Um, but but they unlike something's on the way, but it was yeah. But unlike yeah. unlike No Man's Sky. Where where I which I still really enjoy because I like the single player aspect of that. This is a game that I think more lives around the idea that while you you may just be going on the same kind of quests over and over again, the adventure is different because you're constantly on the lookout for other people and. Like sure. we've spent so much time doing that that we were like, oh man, okay, there's there's a galleon over there. Do we want to go that way? I don't know. We don't want to go there. And and we did end up testing the waters, so to speak, and it it totally backfired on us. Where where we went to to drop off, we had a bunch of stuff. Oh, too. Right. We had we had like yeah. we had two or three chests. We had I think two of the um the skull the skull the glowing skulls. And a, a pretty vase. And we had the I found, vase. Which they, I still don't know what it does or if you sell it or what happens with it. But. So we, we get we, we saw a galleon pulling in on the opposite side of the the uh, the island that we were on to sell things. And so we pulled in. And as soon as we get off the boat, I see a dude running directly towards me. And I'm like, they're coming for me. They're coming yeah. for me. The guy tries to body block me. But I end up getting my sail off of the, like, I got to sell the, the, the loot. Uh, and then he immediately started using a sword on me and I tried waving to him and he killed me. <laughs> and then you, we get, we and respawned and work, huh? we respawned, I respawned and, and they were on the boat and they tried to kill Then they killed me again, I think. And then I they killed you. I scuttled the boat at that point. And we scuttled really the boat. Matter. Yeah. But, uh, I managed to turn in one chest because they were so focused on you. Cause I couldn't, I didn't know where the gold dude was. Cause again, this game doesn't tell you where any, doesn't have any waypoints, which I decided I like. That's cool. Like having to memorize and kind of get the lay of the land is is appropriate for a pirate game but yeah I, I was off somewhere lost basically and then i found it as you turned it in and were and they were all headed off towards you so i got to turn in mine as well before i also <laughs> died but but i i like two chests i like that aspect like that that's the fun part and, and i it's, love that aspect yeah it, it, it's I like the fact that that in theory you know we could do that we could be the ones that just sit on the island for a minute and and uh and and jack somebody's gold before they turn it in. We could do that, and it's. Which a li- I say next time we play, let's let's do that. I mean, when you say we spend most of the game kind of looking for people, I say that's a pretty good description of this game in a nutshell, but in a bad way. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess I don't have the. I don't feel it. I I disagree on it, but well, we please. we have two completely different styles. Number one, I do not care about the missions. Like there there was a reason I didn't put up any of my missions to go do them which is fine you were doing yours and i'll get to the end of this but i just don't care i don't care about the cosmetics uh, uh, they the game looks gorgeous i care about that but i don't care about upgrading my bucket to look right. different i don't care about the that number on any of those levels going up because their missions are all the same it's all go get this and bring it back and while 
the act of going to get it is fun. Like I like the idea of at the end of that run, we did have two chests and a shiny vase and a, th and a skull, you know, like that. That was cool to kind of amass that kind of stuff as a pirate too. It fits as well, but just it's completely rote, like, like the actual action of it. And there mm -hmm. weren't enough people to make that fun for me. It, it just got so boring. And every time I saw a ship, I would try and shoot it. Uh, but uh, and there was actually probably enough people that we saw over the time of playing that I feel like if we did start to engage, um, there would be something there. It wouldn't be like we were playing on empty servers the whole time and if and we were trying to find people to fight and never could. Like I don't think that would happen. Right. So I think I'm looking. For, let's let's do something. And again, I'll end this with saying I found joy in being the helper. Like I'm totally fine doing all your missions and like <laughs> be, being the guy that runs around the ship and doing. You get stuff the same while, experience while I do. They're not my missions. They're they become ours. There's, I know. There's I get the like... XP and all that stuff too, but I don't care about it. And that stuff that you seem to care about, I'm I'm not uh, trying I to guess. demean that. It's something I was it's... just. I, I, I guess I care about it in the sense that it's part of the game. So it's the things that I want to do because those are the things yeah. that allow you to engage with other people. But no, yeah, but, I mean, for me, the things that allow me to engage with other people are going and engaging with other people. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's like, like, yeah, I, I, I do want to, to level up and, and I don't really care necessarily about the cosmetics. I do want to keep playing it and leveling up. Whereas, whereas no, I, 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 and I know, yeah. I know like, and this is one of those things where, where if I'm driving, I know that if I don't take a wide berth around ships, you're immediately going to start can. Oh, you're no, going to yeah, cannonball no, them anyway. I will try and shoot them at least once. Yes, no. No, and I, and I know that. And 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 normally, like it's fine up until we have chests on the boat, and then I'm like, dude, no. Yeah, and I still don't care. No, yeah. so no, that's, yeah, that's you don't I'm care. Saying, like, yeah. like, and even I don't even want to like engage in a battle. Like I would be stoked to be the guy that just shoots them once and, and then, then just, and then runs away as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah no, that would be great. I would let that would be just a little bit of spice. Just, I'm I'm totally just a it. little bit of spice. <laughs> just gonna just gonna put a hole in your in your hole and walk away. I'm the the dork that just wants to see it all burn. Like I don't I don't. No, care. but that I mean, it's fine. But I'm still having fun being the guy that's that on the ship that cares about everything else. You know, sure. Like it it's it's it is fun and interesting in that interaction. It's just I can't I can't get into the actually caring about leveling up and stuff. No, like that, that's that's is, fine. I mean, it, this also is a multiplayer game, which is like it, it, like that has a huge strike against it for you because oh, yeah. it's a multiplayer game with no story. Sure, that's not typically my wheelhouse, but also it, like we get two more people on that boat, like I probably have zero problems really. Oh yeah, you know, no, I mean mess with and right. stuff like that. So. Well, because then we get the galleon and you get to right be a you get to we were know. slooping. <laughs> we're we're sloops still looking forward to more of it there will be more sea of thieves and if you guys yeah. anybody out there wants to play uh with us let us know we're we'll be happy to jump into your crew or you can be in our crew or why don't we just crew it up crew jones Which from I rad mean, don't don't listen to me it's fun let's do it together so that's all i got i don't want to play any more games ever again <laughs> I don't have much more to say about uh, this list of games, too. Uh, we talked a little bit about Overwatch Retribution, and I mentioned how it was good, but just kind of good, like PvE is good. Turns out, if you play the real... I, I was playing the All Heroes version, because I was trying to go through it with eight different heroes. Sure. Uh, turns out, if you do the real version, it's contextualized, and there's a lot more... Uh, the, the actual dialogue that they put in there to go back and forth between the four characters they've meant to be in that. Uh, there's cutscenes. There's there's more art. Turns out all that adds a lot. <laughs> it's, it's it's good. It's cool. It was fun to see. I mean, again, we know Blizzard excels at that kind of stuff, anyways. But interaction, story building, world building, like that's all really cool in Retribution as well. So nice. Live and learn. Live it uh, at Levita learning. Unless you're playing Uncharted. No, I'm just kidding. I did finish Uncharted. Hey, uh, it, it's nothing's changed from what we've said so far the the story ends satisfactorily it left you wanting it it, it just see i mean we know uncharted is not the strongest one anyway so that bore out but it, at some point it does seem to be maybe checking all the boxes like there's nazis even though you don't fight an actual nazi but you do because now they're zombies <laughs> and so the, easy, the easiest way to get nazis in your game is turn them into zombies 
Well, it turns out that the treasure that Sir Francis Drake was going after was actually a cursed treasure that he was trying to get not to leave the island because it turned all the Nazis into these like zombie things. It's I'll give it this. <laughs> it didn't completely crap the bed like Crystal Skull or anything. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana, Jones. Uh, Indiana Jones. Yes. Something to the Crystal and the Skull? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Kingdom, okay, all right. Whereas that, like Indiana Jones movies are great because they don't have Mutt Williams. To, <laughs> I mean, the argument could be made in both directions, but where <laughs> I feel like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull really jumped off the rails was where they expressly and like incredibly included all the alien stuff, right? Like it wasn't like kind of hinted at or it wasn't a one moment at the end where you got to shut your eyes or you're going to die type thing. It was just the whole thing gets blown out of the water type thing, you know? Yeah. Like there, it's just, that's what ruined that movie in my eyes. <laughs> All right. Among the 10 other things. And Mutt Williams. Dude, but what about, think about it now though. What if we, okay, what if the next Indiana Jones did actually hand the reins over to Shia LaBeouf? Out. Like hard, hard pass. <laughs> nope. What? <laughs> hard pass. But that thing would be nuts at this point. Like, he wouldn't even act in the thing. Hard like It pass. would just be, like, weird. It would be like the thing where he just watches. We would watch a movie of him watching an Indiana Jones movie for two hours. Oh, That's God. what it would be at this I am no, already no? wanting to kill myself and scratch. <laughs> we're we're going to digress here. Get back. All right. That, the movie Thursdays. Um, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull sidebar. Never. Where Uncharted doesn't crap the bed is that yeah you're fighting zombies but it doesn't lean into it so hard and it does pull back on it at the end i guess kind of i'm probably giving it too much credit but <laughs> to where it's not ruined in that like you get a little bit of the supernatural but not so much that the whole thing is about that you know sure. what i'm saying yeah yeah okay all right we got there it's an aspect of it it's it's similar similar to raiders of the lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> i'm out <laughs> hard pass Raiders of the Lost Ark, but Shia LaBeouf. Nah. No? Still, okay. Jeez. Stop it with... Can't win. Stop it with the LaBeef. <laughs> uh, second to last thing I played was some Puzzle Fighter, and we've talked about this. I finally got to that single player thing where I got enough points and I got that chest at the end of the, <laughs> the weekly event. You did it! Yeah. I didn't screw it up on the last day this time. Uh, I finally got to the next bracket. Uh, which is, I think, ultra silver. So it's even just one under gold. I'm almost a gold level. Um, it, it, and then I deleted it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it's. I know, I know, harping on microtransactions and and pay to play, whatever stuff is is old at this point. Like it's yeah, never it's old because it's, it's always right. Everybody knows. Uh, but that thing is really just a marvel of timers and stop gaps. If you want to get into it, like it's very impressive at that like the the amount of things that it limits and doesn't at the same time with all that it's it, it, it took a lot of work like that thing is is <laughs> more de more way. development went into went into how they could bilk money from you than the actual game itself i'm telling you it's it's quite a marvel um but never in a million years did i think it would all be relevant <laughs> or appear in the news at any point also didn't know this thing came out in november really that's crazy yeah i don't yeah i feel no. like i've been hearing about this for like a hundred decades <laughs> <laughs> this specific version came out in november which is only now relevant and interesting because they've just announced capcom that they're going to they, they're shutting it down in april this month great timing yeah you know you got so, the yes. experience and now it's dead so now you can say yeah. hey i killed it no. you're the one who killed it gilbert I can join with Capcom in sending that game out to sea, but like on one of those like burning funeral pyre boats, maybe. Oh, I feel like that's that you're giving it too much respect at that point. Really? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> sure, you're like, drown oh, it. we're gonna we're, drown it. We're gonna miss you. Yeah, no, you you cover that thing in feces and you put it at the bottom of yeah. you know like a pit you, and a fire. Tie it in a bag, tied to a rock. Yeah, type thing. Yeah, yeah. the old the old kitten treatment. <laughs> to toss it into it. <laughs> Uh, okay are we can we move on now <laughs> yes great so i had to pick up another mobile game and uh, I, I went back and got the dlc for solitarica solitarica thank you 
which I don't know what year I got into that game. It might have just been last year, but if I left it off my end of the year awards, <laughs> <laughs> I say laughingly, uh, I'm sorry because that's that's still an excellent and super fun game. What what game? Solitarica. Solitarica. It's, it's a roguelike. Oh, I see now. Yeah, yeah I just wanted I to say it again. Walked right into it. Yeah, it's a roguelike that in your runs you can buy certain upgrades that then make your runs easier in the future and each deck is tailored with different there's four different it's uh, it's, it's, it's the video game version of emodium <laughs> based on your explanation um runs got it okay now it's all <laughs> there we go mm. making connections because we are five years old you know this particular deck that i've been trying to play is also very hard to pass <laughs> so we can run with the theme here uh because it focuses on the attack it's attack i forget it's four different things and each of them have barely to do with their names attack agility and whatever you're playing solitaire which I love. <laughs> no it's fair but this deck focuses on that it's called the barbarian deck so it's focuses on just attack so I'm, i've come to realize that i really need to build out my attack <laughs> to to get through this thing because in the past i've been kind of uh it's it's tightly designed like especially at the beginning you like i'm very often winning by one card you know it's coming down to the wire pretty often which means it's tightly designed in a lot of ways and it also means when you don't pull that off you feel pretty burnt because it's there was like you, you've played every single card you could have played in the way you could have played it there yeah. was nothing else you could have done and right. you still lost so that's annoying at times poker but, you're always getting uh, currency that you can spend on these upgrades that, that improve your deck every single time. So, And then you can buy continues with that same stuff once you've fully upgraded the deck like I have to this one. So it's it's fun in that it's a little bit harder. I'm having to use every part of the Solitarica buffalo to get <laughs> through it. Leave no part of the buffalo unturned? There it is. Mm -hmm. But I can probably be done talking about that for the foreseeable future. It's a good yeah. game. Fair enough. I uh, something that that you asked me about like a hundred years ago, and I I didn't have the answer for you because I I couldn't remember. Um, okay. The New York Times crossword because uh, you asked me yeah. about about mobile stuff. It's like the single mobile game that I actually have, and it's a subscription. I didn't remember. I couldn't remember how much it was. It's thirty bucks uh, for the full year. Oh, that's more. That's thirty yeah, more than I thought you were gonna say. It's for the. That's for the entire year. So you get every crossword puzzle for the year, plus oh. all of the ones that already existed. Plus, so like you get the entire okay, archive. That's not so bad. Plus, actually. they also have like packs that you can use. So like they're they're more um, uh, uh, aimed at specific like like uh, topics kind of stuff. So it, it's. It's a lot of crossword puzzles, and if you like them the way I do, uh, it's totally worth it. You know, is that the one? It's just constantly like you don't talk about it just because you're just always playing it. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't talk about it because it's a crossword puzzle. There's nothing to talk about. It's a. Cr I mean, it's like, <laughs> you, what did you do today, Grandma? I played a crossword <laughs> puzzle. Now I'm gonna play another one. You know, it's did, like there's nothing to talk about. Did you stay up till three a.m. playing it last night? I did not last night, no, because I finished oh. Sunday's. Oh, well, I didn't do. Actually, I didn't do yesterday's. Uh, you got one up on me then. Haha. -ha, yeah, I did, and I didn't do. Actually, I didn't do this weekend's. I did Friday's. So was the last one. I finished that one. I, don't know, I think it took me half an hour. See now, if they would just somehow include like gems, that that <laughs> you know. That you could turn in for currency, that you could yeah. then buy skins and then upgrades to like have like super power ups to your crossword puzzle. <laughs> now you've got it. <laughs> Somebody's actually going to make that game. Crossword uh, no, Tatterca. I got a text from my wife at like 3 a.m. last night. Where are you? <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm, I'm five feet away in the bathroom. I'm, like, I'm having a really good run. This is okay. <laughs> I've bit a modium. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep moving. This week, it seems like everybody's busy playing God of War and probably Nintendo Labo from what I see. Lots of Labo. I saw Lots people making making music with it. Actually. I looked at that at the store when I went into Target to purchase God of War, which, by the way, they did not have. They were fully sold out, and I just bought it digitally. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, oh. I, I did look at the Labo, though. They had, uh, they had two of them. They had the piano, and they had... Uh, I think the robot thing, whatever, like the spider thing. I don't know. Do they have like Labo uh, switch bundles? Not yet. And I don't know that they ever will because those things are like, they're they're pretty beefy packaging. 
Yeah, I know. The retailer is not crazy about shelf space but well no i mean i, I mean I, the, the labo to... themselves are already beefy packaging too like they're because i mean keep in mind they're flattened pieces of cardboard right right so yeah, gotcha. like that that's taking up a lot of they take they do take up a lot of space i will check amazon see if they've made their own bundles hmm. because i do want to labo but that's not even what this is all about some of the things that did happen this week and seem to speak to a larger trend maybe we'll find out by the end of this thing uh, was number one it appears that uh, call of duty 4 is not going to have a single player campaign and this is still in the early stage of reporting uh, especially since this article from polygon has the statement says quote the sources who asked for anonymity said that as black ops 4's release date approached it became evident that development on the single player campaign wouldn't be completed so they are developing according to these sources a single player campaign but it just won't like I don't I don't know if the headline is actually there will be no single player campaign or just that it's it's not going to be there maybe maybe it will be there at launch, at launch. Yeah. right which is what they've been doing on the PC for some time like they've made those two things available at different times different ways sure. they've already split those things up I guess is what I'm saying uh, so that's interesting and I think significant like for Call of Duty who's never really done this like we it's it's been up in the air, like you know, when when uh, there was the exodus from Infinity War and they started respawn, and then Titanfall didn't have really single player at all. There was right. kind of that, like, is this where first person shooters are headed, or at least Call of Duty, you know, big budget titles like this are headed? Yeah, no, I I I think uh, I I don't think this is inherently a bad thing. I mean, I'm actually pretty okay with it overall, idea wise. My concern does become, are are they going to? Are they going to really separately package them? So like, you know, you walk into a store and while sure you could buy the single disc, are they going to be released in such a way that it's here's multiplayer, here's single player, just, you know, here are two separate things. Or is it going to yeah. be, we only put out the single player disc. If you want multiplayer, you just download it. Cause it's all the, you know, it's, it's mostly stuff that's running well, on servers anyways. If anything, I say it's the opposite. They release the multiplayer standalone and then you can download maybe the single player campaign later I, yeah I mean, maybe it's that i don't know i, I mean either way I, I'm, I'm pretty good with it I, I'm, I'm the two things that that come to mind though is is it, neither of those things should uh, should then cost full price unless you're hmm. buying both of them shouldn't no yeah I, I and there is like this is this is one of those situations where where um call of duty is absolutely a series where where if you're going to charge me full price it, it better have the single player campaign or I'm definitely never even I'm they, there will be I mean, absolutely zero consideration period. It just I mean, won't this be is there. coming from two guys that just don't annually buy this thing anyway. No, you know? I, no, I don't. And, and I, I think that, that I would hope that if, if, uh, if they do that and they split the games and they release it and it's full price that the game tanks, I would hope it won't, but I would love for it, it to do that. No, it never will. Well, because this is, I mean, they're, they're anticipating, to some extent where the market not even not even where it's going kind of just where it is like you know multiplayer has eclipsed single player with call of duty for years now i sure. would say uh, probably since call of duty 4 even but i mean strangely enough now having especially gotten into the zombies portion of this thing with uh, uh advanced warfare i guess that's it i feel like i've done so much more <laughs> like I, I'm number one. They will definitely charge sixty bucks for this thing. Yeah. Like period. Pass. Uh, number two, that zombies mode is pretty fleshed out. Like there's even story elements to that. Like it makes a lot of sense that they would double down. Okay, on that. so so I guess I would say if they're gonna put in like that full zombies mode along with every multiplayer mode, sure. All right, you you you've got something there. Yeah, but like if it's if it was just like it, because without the zombies mode, it, it's just such a pared down piece of content that it's just not to me. That's that's not worth sixty bucks. I, yeah, I mean, no. I that's still Call of Duty Online. You know that that is totally just a. I still would have issues at sixty dollars, even if they include the zombie mode. That's still to me like at best yeah. forty forty nine bucks. I'll, I will never buy that thing. Like no, one hundred percent never. They could charge me sixty bucks for a Spec Ops only edition and. <laughs> That's just me, but they're, they, they don't even want to do that. No, they hate so you. They don't. This is not for me or us. So that's, that's fine. More interesting along these same lines. And again, we're going to try and follow a thread here 
Uh, Campo Santo has joined or is going to join. Is there a no, date joined. on this or just no, done? Okay, it's done. They've joined Valve. I, I, you, you say joined. I say purchased. Really? They, they say joined. I say purchased. Oh, okay. Uh, like, you so, know, ipso. So who says purchased besides you? I don't know. Other people that oh. involve money and know okay. that dollars yeah, okay, matter in situations. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Campo Santo blog. They've released a, a pretty awesome statement about this whole thing. Yeah, mm. Campo Santo developers of Firewatch and the upcoming In the Valley of Gods uh, walking simulator type things. Well, most recently when we talked about them, it was in uh, terms of what had been going on at Telltale because Campo Santo is made up of some guys that left kind of amid all that right uh thing go back go back two weeks it, listen to it or was it last yeah, week it was two weeks was. ago i think but basically went somewhere where they could work on the evolution of whatever the adventure game is and firewatch is very much something along those lines it's something new something different uh but familiar in a way and still well done again haven't played it yet uh will very soon and then this will be just all the more important but have announced and again in this blog post go check it out in, in, in a way that's very valve like or maybe was very valve like i know valve has kind of been they occupied this space of champion in a lot of ways you know they're a company that has no hierarchy that uh, is it hires you know people that have been doing mods and, and people that work on their game outside you know and 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 champions them to you know to dota 2 success type things you know like well sure i mean you know por portal's a great the, the great example because the, the all the people that made portal were brought in to make a sequel to narbacular drop and they were brought right. in from uh um uh, digipen and then kim kim swift turns into to turns right, right. portal out and then or turtle rock yeah even. and turtle turtle rock similar situation right where where you've got uh um the 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 original founder was a guy who who did um some of the work on uh counter strike i think it was and then uh, it might have been it might have been a different Half Life mod, but it was it was definitely one of those. And then he, uh, Turtle Rock was formed, and the three major guys, Phil Rob, and uh, I, I honestly Phil Rob's the only one I remember because of the beard. Uh, the the <laughs> they the, both had beards. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. But Phil <laughs> Rob was was his name is Phil Rob. He's got two first names. And, uh, the other guys, that's true. Yeah, so I can't ever remember. But but in any case, yeah, Turtle Rock was was essentially they. they I mean, they they did work at Westwood Studios, and and then became Turtle Rock, and then Valve picked them up after they started doing stuff for Half Life, other mods, in, in that respect, and they created Left for Dead. Left for Dead, right. Um, so so Valve has kind of this history, and yeah, what's happened most recently is they stopped making games, quote unquote. Uh, you know they dove deep into Steam and uh, Dota two. And yeah, lots of esports stuff, stuff like that. So which which is fine. Like they by all accounts were doing very well at that. Also, like a lot of people happy with with it either way, except for maybe the people who wanted like Half Life Three or or whatever. Yeah. Which man, I just will never understand. People who are still yeah, asking yeah, for that yeah, game. Yeah. They should have stopped asking for that game two years after the the last episode was released. Yeah. Like that was never well, going to happen. Why this is interesting though is that somewhere along the lines, they also all one of the death knells that that rung most loudly for me maybe was when uh, Eric Wolpaw and Chet Fal let's just say Zach left. <laughs> Falacek. Yeah. That. <laughs> It's either one. He goes by both. <laughs> it's okay. But it signified a, a, a real break. Like from, I mean, again, that company is just a, a complete aberration in so many ways. I, and in a good way, most of the time, it seems. But when they left, it was kind of a, well, you know, now Valve really is different than they have ever been. And then they've gone back and forth. There's been like VR and hardware stuff and all that. And, this is kind of the first time where they appear to be making an overture back in that direction. Like Firewatch, or sorry, Campo Santo completely fills that void. No, I think I think you're right. I mean, it, okay. it's Valve had like like you mentioned, you know, they had an exodus of people. You know, uh, the, the two writers, Kim Swift, left many years back. Um, uh, you know, Turtle Rock was was you know they they were brought on for left for dead and then they were essentially cut loose after left for dead um then they reformed turtle rock because valve did give them the the license to the name and the the, the logos and all that right, right. and then turtle rock did continue to work with valve on left for dead 2 
but but ultimately you know turtle rock left did their own thing so valve really was kind of in that 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 there was like a weird nebulous point where it you know half-life wasn't going anywhere they weren't doing anything with that there was no more portal coming because that that seems like it's just dead in the water at this point as far as where else do they go with it um so, so a lot of these guys like Chet Valachek and Eric Wolpaw, what were they doing at Valve? And and I yeah. feel like part of the <laughs> yeah. reason they left is because they probably weren't doing a lot. You know, the, their yeah. talents are being like, like I, I don't say they're wasted, but they're just, they're not being used. They're not being a utilized. A little bit, man. Yeah. I mean, for, I'm sure they did fantastic at whatever world building and, you know, flavor text might be too dismissive but you know whatever writing they did do for games like dota 2 even because that's a world that's it that's a sure absolutely all that so I, i'm sure that was great but yeah it's not like th- thinking about how much they excelled at games like portal portal 2 you know it, like those are watershed moments in video game storytelling for, for sure me, anyways type definitely thing, you know and half-life also you know for that matter in certain ways my hope here is is that campo santo is allowed to continue doing what they do while also maybe getting involved and being allowed to if they're interested in touching some of those other ips and i'm not talking about half-life obviously but Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that. I, I, I want to see more of some of the games that they have. And, and and while, you know, Portal is a good example, what could Campo Santa do with the Portal universe? Probably something interesting. It's not going to be Portal, but what's that story that they tell? Maybe they actually tell the human story of Shell. Maybe we hear about what Shell's life is or was or could be. You know, I don't know. But if they even do that, like, that's, again, that's, the thing that's, that's if like, they want to and th- people are allowed to. I just want Campo Santo to do what they want to do. My 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 hope here is that Campo Santo does not end up in a situation similar to whatever happened with Turtle Rock, where where they put out in the Valley of the Gods and it comes out as a Valve game and then Valve goes, yeah, all right, we're kind of done. <laughs> we could do this with other people, you know. Yeah, and and a lot of it is just we don't know how that stuff gets handled because it seems to get handled in such a weird way as is, you know, there seems to be a level of of autonomy that when there isn't, it's kind of weird or looks weird and they don't talk about it. So again, whatever to all that, I guess what's most interesting with all this is that it does seem to fill a void at valve and it seems to bring valve back into this idea of, of single player games, which, I guess last we checked in on might have been where, you know, EA had the thing where they, they canceled Amy Hennig's Star Wars game. Like, that's going to ter- be turned into a games of service thing because it couldn't survive for whatever reason. Right. And th- there was this big uh, uproar of sorts about how the single player game is, is dying, you know. And there was other stuff that came out that ma- that said maybe that shutdown wasn't exactly emblematic of, of the health of that type of game. And then we also later on had that weird discussion about how in this environment – Ubisoft has become this strange savior of sorts uh, because while they are doing games as a service, just great over there with Rainbow Six and even Ghost Recon Wildlands to some degree, Mm -hmm. uh, Division, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, They're also doing Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed and now Far Cry 5 we just talked a bunch about. Like, they apparently think there's plenty of room for games like that. And they, I mean, Assassin's Creed I know did well. I don't know enough about Far Cry 5 just yet, but Watch Dogs 2. I think it did fine. All right, so th- there's this weird space where uh, Valve, I think, could definitely be, you know, welcomed, I guess. Yeah, or, for or, sure. Or Campo Santo by way of Valve or whatever it ends up being. And, like. and I, I, you know, I, 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 I kind of, I, I am curious what Valve does with this and, and what Campo Santo does with Valve. Does, does Campo Santo, you know, do they, do they kind of cease to be and just become part of valve and they're their own little development team. They're the Campo Santo devs or, or what? Probably not based on history, but I mean, yeah, who knows? I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, they're excited. So I'm excited for them. And I, I want to see, I want to see Campo Santo do what they want to do. And I hope that, that valve can make good decisions with Campo Santo to allow, uh, for some great storytelling and some great games, you know, it, it's, yeah. This is a this is a good match, I think, uh, overall from a from a on paper standpoint. You, you let's win, just win, seems. Yeah, let's right. just hope that 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 bore, that bores out, you know. Bears out. Bears out. 
Bears out, boobs out. <laughs> Let's do it. See if it be- what did I say? Boars? I, I, I there's think of wild boars. Point. Matt Amber. So Linguist. That's the show. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and tuning in. This has been Zero Hit Points. You can find us on the internet at... Go to Twitter at zero underscore H underscore P. You can hit us up at Instagram. Let us know what you think about the show. And let us know if there's something you want to talk about. If you got ideas, hit us up at podcast at zero hit points.com. I told you that I've been playing God of War. So I'm going to keep playing that this week. Cause I got it. I'm I, who knows Talk about that some more next week. I'll yeah. Know. More on that. I'll, I'll probably play some more PUBG. Uh, not PUBG. Nope. Not doing that. Oh, cool. uh, probably more sea of thieves. And oh, right. uh, I would probably actually play some more Dead by Daylight. I, I didn't play a ton of it last week, um, but but we'll see. Okay. We what what see. about you? Sure, I'll play those too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, on Thursdays we got book club for movies. This week we watched Battle Royale, only somewhat tangentially related to PUBG in no yeah. real way. We but some video games in the movies again. We, we did it. Movies. We can't avoid it. Check it out, book club for movies. That's on Thursdays. Next Tuesday will be zero hit points again. Keep listening to this episode until the Thursday book club comes out. Then listen to that until Tuesday. And then it's all just circular. Never stop listening. Always be listening. Always A-B-L. be zeroing it on it. Zero hit points.com.